guys, this is a quick Metro Busa update. I decided to put a floor in, uh, in the back, so there's not a giant hole. And, uh, and then I was going to mount the, the Hayabusa tank in as my fuel cell, and that didn't really work out because I need both a line in and a line out so I can run, uh, uh you know, like an external, uh, regulator. So I got this fuel cell offline, super cheap, I think I paid like $72 for it, it's 8 gallon. And then I was had to cut the exhaust and do some exhaust modifications, and I figured I'd go ahead and order on a you know a turbo and some exhaust, and got a twin scroll off of a Subaru Legacy. I think I want to fit on there. I decided to make a new water inlet, or maybe it's an outlet. I uh, cut the yeah the hose portion off the water pump and then welded it on a piece of aluminum and then kind of machined it out so fit on and I also cut down the breather the factory one and pulled the the reed valve out of the inside of it so I wouldn't have problems with the dry sump kit and this is the dry sump kit I got from SBD Motorsports uh, from the UK Okay, and then help showed up to help out. Go find your next Happy and then they had to go. And this is the scavenge pump that came from SBD Motorsports The in the kit, the dry sump kit. Takes the place of the water pump. So I have to run a, yeah, an electric water pump. I'm just following the instructions like exactly how they say it should go because I know nothing about dry sump. Hopefully everything goes right. <laughs> This is the piece the relief valve goes in. I mean the factory Hayabusa relief valve. It's a pretty nice fit, pretty straightforward uh, installation so far. I mean, everything was pretty figured out. And this is a, a machine like a washer and then cut out some slots, four of them, and uh, it, it goes behind where the sprocket would have went. And then I relocated the speed sensor and uh, I think it'll work. And then I'll have the speed sensor on the, on the motor still, just in a different spot. And that's the bracket for the sensor I made, the speed sensor. I'm not really sure how perfect the speed sensor actually has to be. It's, it's really, really, really close. But it's not perfect. Here's just a couple close-ups of all the mess going on right in this exact spot. And 
I thought for sure I'd have the motor in and running by now. It's taking like forever to get everything done. So it's in the car right now and it's almost about to get started. Running, I mean. <laughs> Finally.